Welcome back to another video. Hope you are having a great day. And today with the Jemmy Book Plus, which is a laptop that at the moment of the recording costs 215 or 235 euros or US dollars. Link down below and also the coupon codes. Now, I don't know when this promotion will and hopefully you will get it in time. Now, it is a budget laptop for those looking for something for school, for example, which will behave great in tasks like Word, PowerPoint, Excel, multimedia consumption, and even some light gaming, but at the same time, affordable. It is really nice, but it's not perfect. So I'm going to share with you everything that I did like and also some things that I didn't enjoy. That being said, Let's go straight for it. And if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons, don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OM keys at an affordable price. And with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description, it will get even cheaper. And besides Windows 11 Pro, if you are looking for Windows 10 or even an office suit that we can aggregate directly to our Microsoft soft account you can use the same coupon code which will give you the best price possible at this moment so just in case the link will be down below it has a 15.6 ips display with 1080 resolution it's not oled and nothing similar to an oled but it has really nice colors and very good viewing angles as we can see by some images right over there the contrast brightness and color saturation are just awesome now it weights 1.5 so I would say that it's a light laptop and it's thin. It has 12 millimeters thickness. The screen also has a feature that I love on any laptop, which is the possibility to put it like this, completely flat, 180 degrees opening, which is awesome. And on a lot of occasions, it's really useful, especially when we are working with someone, we need to show something here it is. We don't need to be messing around. It's a really simple thing, but really useful and one of my favorites. It comes with the Intel 12th generation CPU N100, 16 gigabytes of RAM and 512 gigs of SSD, but there is a cheaper version with only 8 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigs of SSD. Now, I would suggest to get the higher end model, especially looking at the price difference, which at this moment is only about 20, 25 euros or dollars. And in my opinion, it's totally worth it for the extra eight gigabytes of RAM. We have done a few days ago an upgrade from the 512 gigs of storage to two terabytes Sabrent SSD, which is faster and has more storage. Storage, and this is the only upgrade that we will be able to do on this laptop. So I would go for the 16 gigs, 512 SSD. And then later on, if I want to upgrade the storage, I will be able to do so. Connectivity wise on the right side, it has one USB type C 3.0, one USB type A 2.0, one USB type A 3.0, one gigabit ethernet and a Cassington lock. On the left side, a audio output, one USB type C 3.0, one USB type A 3.0, one HDMI and one charging port. And the charging port is the only port that I'm not a fan. As you guys know, I prefer USB type C all the way so that I have all my devices. Right over here, we have to use the charger included with the DC in. But like in some other laptops, what we can do is to purchase an adapter of USB type C to DC. And in that way, I can just have the adapter and then use any USB type C charger, just put in the adapter and I can charge my laptop without having to use two different chargers. But it is one of those things that I didn't like so much. It has a solution, but it's here. It has a two megapixel front face camera or a camera web camera in this particular case, which is okay. You can record with it. And if it's for a video call for a really distant, really distant aunt or uncle, that's totally fine. Image quality doesn't impress that much. But if you want to create some content, real content to share like this right over here, then I would suggest a real webcam. I will leave some suggestions right over here on the YouTube cards or down below. It also has a privacy filter, which if I were you, I would leave it on, which means that no image at 
this moment it has a 38 watt hour battery which from my test watching a youtube video from a channel that you know it used in about 10 minutes six percent of battery while the video was in full screen so for this type of usage it will last about two hours and 40 minutes now if we do office tasks like powerpoint excel and so on it will last longer if we browse the web for example it will last longer but if we play games then it will last less time but this is the average two hours and 40 for consuming multimedia now performance wise what can we do with this laptop and it's simple we know this cpu we have seen it in several different machines we have tested and i will show you some numbers right over there for Geekbench, for example, so that we can compare also Wi-Fi and the SSD speed, which was quite fast. Now you can compare with other machines, but for Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and all that kind of stuff, email, browse, watch content on the web, videos, and so on and so forth, it will behave just great. If we want to watch a movie or a series on Netflix or any other service, this will be more than fine. Now, the weakest point will be in terms of gaming. As expected, it doesn't have a dedicated GPU, so we will not be able to play high demanding games. But we will be able to play some games. I did play around with Asphalt Legends, for example, and it did behave just fine no issues whatsoever but that will be more or less the limit in terms of gaming if we want to jump higher with this kind of laptop we will need to go for clown gaming like xbox which we have done a few videos here on the channel and if you are interested in those i will try to leave links right over here and down below on the video description if i forget just ask and i will try to send them to you now it comes with a really nice keyboard which is a comfortable chiclet keyboard it has nice spacing the trackpad it's also precise big enough for any kind of work it has a us international layout so if you are in the us great i'm portuguese so it's not a portuguese layout and if you speak any other language if you use any other keyboard layout uh, shui has a few keyboards that we can place on top rubber keyboards unfortunately portuguese is not one of them but there are almost all of those that we use mostly at least on the countries that I know so in conclusion it is a laptop that it's really interesting especially for the specifications that it has a great display really nice keyboard a trackpad and a nice performance at a great price in my opinion now it's not perfect the thing of being able or not being able to charge with a usb type c and having to use a dc port right over here on this side it's one of the downsides which we can solve with an adapter but we have to have that adapter the webcam is not the best webcam that we have seen but enough for the video calls and the keyboard if you are portuguese like myself then it's not perfect but i'm used to use us international so it's just a matter of getting used to it and that will be fine but hopefully this video was helpful to decide if this is the computer that you want to start your new school year or not if that was the case don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there just next to the germany book plus my name is Werther george and as always i'll see you on the next one